Hi dear Ayush, so this is your doubt regarding one of the questions that is question number 8 of process costing. So I will get to that question now directly. Now this question is there about what? We have a certain level of input in each and every process and a certain level of output that is there. Okay. Now that happens for 5 processes. A similar question we will have done in fact last two questions although this is a slightly a tougher version of them. Uh, so this is the input in the first process, output in the second process. Then might be for some other period they have given you this, they have given you this, they have given you input, output, input, output, input, output. And they have asked you what? Determine the input required in each operation for one unit of the final output. If you want one unit of the final output, how much you have to input in each and every operation? Now your previous two questions was you only find out the input in the beginning. Now you try to find out input at each and every stage. So you do it now separately for each and every process. Okay. Uh, example, I'll start with the last process. It'll become a bit easier. This is 14400. This is the input. If this is 1, this will be how much? So pick up your calci. It is 17,280 divided by 14,400. So therefore, this will be 1.2. So therefore, if this is 1, this is 1.2. Now this 1.2 is the input of the of the fifth process. Okay. Now try to be going backwards now. 23400, 21600. If this is the input, this is the output. But now output in this case should be input of the next process. So therefore, if this figure is 1.2, then how much should be this? So therefore, I'm taking this as 1 and trying to compute everything backwards. So therefore, if this is 23400, this much is output. But if you want output as 1.2, what should be the input? So therefore, 1.2 into 23400 divided by 21600. So this figure will be coming to 1.3. This 1.3 can be put over here. 1.3 into 18900 divided by 17550. So therefore, this will be coming as 1.4 into 2250 divided by 18900. Uh, this will give you 1.5 into 21600 divided by 16200. So therefore, this will be fetching you 2. So therefore, if you want to have one unit of the final output, you got to be having how much in each and every process 2, then 1.5, then 1.4, then 1.3, then 1.2. That answers your first part of the question. Okay, second part. Calculate the labor in the overhead cost at each operation for one unit of the final output. Okay. And the overhead cost for all the operation for one unit of the final output. See what those guys are saying. Calculate labor and overhead cost for one unit of the final output. See. Now, 194,400 is supposed to be your total cost. Okay. 194,400 is supposed to be your total cost. Take that thing on your calc. Now, this is total labor and over it's in process one i'll divide this particular figure by 21600 now do remember 21600 is what this is the total input that is there if you'll divide this by this it comes to rupees 9 okay but the next thing is you got to be inputting two units over here to get one unit over here beta so into two so therefore this will be fetching you your first answer that is 18 i'll tell you for the next one then you, you can continue i guess you'll be able to understand 141,750 is supposed to be the cost for 2250 units. So, 141,750 is the cost for 20250 units. So, therefore, this is 7. But you got to be inputting 1.5 units over here to get 1 unit of this. So, therefore, into 1.5. So, therefore, this will be coming to 10.5, so on and so forth. Okay. I hope that uh, that will answer your doubt. In case of further doubts, please you can message us on our telegram channel. This is a nice question. Uh, only difference between the previous two questions in this. There we had only worked out how much input you got to be doing in process 1. Here they had asked you for each and every process. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.